So we take a series of measurements when we're out here. Um, with carapace length and plaster length, we actually take two separate variations of it. Um, we like the max carapace length, which to make sure you get the actual full max, we like these long tined tree calipers because you can get um, across both sides and make sure you get the actual longest total length and not just like a, a single parallel length to the midline, right? This is not the max we're looking for, but this one here. Oh, it's slipping a little bit with her head being out. There we go. And so she's like 182 millimeters uh, in carapace length max. And we do the same thing with the plaster. You know, we, um, if she'll uh, cooperate there. I know, you're supposed to be like hiding. And then, um, silly goose. Let's get your tail out of the way, girl. Oh, feisty one. There we go. And so we do the same thing on the plaster length. Pin it, you know, um, across both sides. So you get the legit maximum. And so that is 173. And then we also do the midlines. And so that's right down the middle of the turtle from the nuchal scute. And then we actually try to get this tine up into the notch here. So we get the actual midline. Mm -hmm. And that's 178. The benefit of getting the midlines is if there's damage to the marginals, that's a more consistent long-term measurement um, in the case of a damaged turtle. But we also like the maxes for um, a variety of reasons just to get to compare like overall growth and, and things like that. We also do the widths. So carapace width, again, we want to get the full width. So we're going the long way with the tines to make sure we get all of it. And she's really making this tough on me today. A lot of the females just don't do that, but there, there you have it, 136. And then shell height again, we wanna make sure we actually get the legit to biggest height. And so again, we go sandwich style mm -hmm. down the long end and uh, that's uh, 69. So those are the basic measurements we take with every turtle.